Happy Sabbath, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Uh, we are coming to you from Laguna, Philippines, uh, which is south of Manila, about three and a half hours up in the mountains. Uh, we are on uh, uh, quarantine and house arrest, if you will, uh, here in the Philippines. We're not allowed to go out of our homes, only one person per family in order to buy food or to get money in the bank or to get gas for your car or whatever. But basically, there's a lot of checkpoints. I just went through a, a checkpoint this morning that not only required my ID pass, which with my picture on it, which we just replaced today, uh, but they also required me to show my driver's license. And they took my plate number of my vehicle and they sprayed my car with disinfectant before I entered their little village or barangay. So definitely things are tightening up. Um, our ability to go from place to place has been hindered for some time. So let us pray that God will put a stop to this uh, epidemic, this pandemic, this contagious disease that's spreading throughout the world. And uh, so here we are to gather together uh, with just a, uh, a few of us here. Uh, and uh, my wife is going to give a presentation. Uh, we were not able to live stream this morning, but we're going to upload this video. Uh, so this is pre-recorded. And it is on our YouTube channel, so if you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so. Uh, that is Restoration to Eden Ministry on YouTube. Uh, please go there. You can also watch our other videos uh, on health and the gospel. So uh, without further ado, I'd like to ask my wife to share uh, the message today. And uh, my wife, Daryl, is going to be sharing a message with us today about health. Okay, honey? Ayan, good morning and happy Sabbath to all. Good morning and happy Sabbath po sa lahat. Ang gano'n na, I wish pwedeng magsalita ng tuloy-tuloy na Tagalog na lang. But I'm gonna try to uh, English din para dun sa mga hindi nakakaintindi ng Tagalog. Okay, so ngayong umaga po, pag-uusapan natin ang tungkol sa kalusugan. At particularly sa kalusugan ng ating mga baga. Kasi di ba ngayon ang um, uh, virus ay ang tinitira niya ay ating baga. So we're gonna talk about lung health because um, the virus is targeting the lungs. So let's talk about things that are good for the lungs, yung mga bagay na mga mabuti para sa ating baga. Hindi na yung mga bagay na hindi mabuti para sa ating baga. So alam natin kung gaano kahalaga, we know how important is the lung. The, the respiratory system how how vital it is na maging healthy yung ating respiratory system o yung ating baga uh, alam natin na people can survive daw 3 weeks without food so kahit tatlong linggo tayong walang pagkain ay makakasurvive pero 3 days na walang tubig 3 days Uh, pwede kang walang tubig pero sa hangin or yung air or oxygen 3 minutes lang mamamatay ka na so you can survive 3 weeks without 3 um, weeks without food especially actually even longer if you have juice we just um, we have a video called fat sick and nearly dead and it's a documentary of this guy who went on a juice fast for 60 days No food, puro juices lang. So, Joe Cross. Pero may, uh, may mga health problems siya. So, through juicing for 60 days without any food, uh, na-overcome niya yung kanyang mga health problems. He was able to overcome his health problems and health issues. And uh, he was on, his, on a road to recovery through juice fasting. So, you can survive without food for 3 weeks, even longer if you have juice. But 3 days without water, but only 3 minutes without oxygen. So, that shows us na gaano kahalaga yung ating baga. How so, how, yeah. How yeah. How vulnerable it is. So, um, we're gonna talk about this morning kung paano natin mapapanatiling malusog yung ating mga baga. Okay. Ano po yung mga bagay? What are the things that are good for the lungs? Unang-una, ano yung kaya yung pinaka-the best sa baga? Fresh air. Yeah, fresh air through exercise. exercise. Number one is exercise. Kasi, the lung capacity ng ating baga ay 
in, in, increase o lum, lumalakas once na nag-exercise. Kaya doon sa mga may mga problema sa baga tulad na may mga allergies, mga asthma, mahalaga na sila ay laging nag-exercise. Kasi habang na habang na-exercise o habang na papap napipilit yung baga na, na gumawa o mag-function, lalong lumalakas. Once na hindi nag-exercise, lalong humihina 'yon. Yung capacity niya lalong paliit ng paliit. And uh, dito din sa virus na to, once na na-invade ng virus yung kanyang baga, yung inyong baga, humihina na yung capacity at pag pinabayaan pahina ng pahina hanggang sa wala ng capacity na mag-function yung baga. So, in English, it's important that we keep the lung capacity of our lungs, of our respiratory system in tip-top shape, meaning on the, in the, in the tip-top shape, in the most, um, uh, largest the largest capacity. And how do we do that? Number one, through exercise. Exercise will keep it in a tip-top shape and will keep it active, we'll keep the lungs Uh, strong and healthy and um, even with this virus that we have now they actually even while they're intubated I've seen it on, um, on some posts that even while they're intubated they have to force the patient to get up and walk even though it's very painful so that the lung will not totally shut down because that's the virus will totally take over and then your lung will not function at all so ang ginagawa nila kahit naka-intubate na pinipilit nila yung mga tao na tumayo para yung lung sa hindi totally mag-collapse o to totally na mawalan na ng kapasidad na gumana kasi yung virus once na na-invade na yung buong baga hindi na siya gagana so kahit naka-intubate dapat pinipilit pa rin nilang patayuin tapos pagpalakarin para yung lungs nila ay gumana pa rin. Kasi once na hindi na gumana, naka-rely na lang dun sa sa ventilator o kaya dun sa tube, totally nang magsha-shut down yung baga. Ngayon, so, so we need cardiovascular aerobic type exercise yeah. to make you breathe. So ang exercise na maganda ay yung talagang gagana yung ating mga talagang yung hihingalin. And Pansinin po natin, yung ating puso ay katabing-katabi ng baga. So, yung exercise na maganda sa puso ay maganda rin sa baga. Yung mga pagkain na maganda sa puso, maganda rin sa baga. So, if you notice, the lung is right next to the heart. They're close to each other, so they're very connected. So, foods that are good for the lungs, they're also good for the heart. And the food that are good for the heart is also good for the lungs. So, we're gonna talk about all the, the specific foods later. So, exercise. Next, water. Very, very important to have plenty of water. Especially now, this season of uh, virus season and flu season, we need to drink more water. So, kailangan mahalaga po yung madaming tubig. Extra. Actually, they're advising... 10 to 12 glasses of water in this season. Kasi, per day. per day, yeah. Because, once na yung virus ay pumasok dito sa ating lalamunan, actually, hindi siya makakapasok kung hindi dahil, uh, kung hindi through the nose, nasal passages, or through the, uh, and then nasal passages, bababa dito sa throat. Pero kung umiinom ka ng maraming tubig, nadadilute yung virus. At mawawash out siya. Pero kung tuyo ang lalamunan dahil hindi uminom ng tubig or ang iniinom may ano? Soft drinks. Soft drinks, Sugar. mga tetrapak na juice, na puro na asukal, mas lalong uh, nakaka-dehydrate pa lalo yun. So napakalaga ng maraming tubig. And pag kulang ang tubig sa baga, madaling na irritate ang ating baga. So napakahalaga. In fact, meron pong mga uh, tao na may mga allergies o kaya yung asthma, and once na inatake sila, inom lang ng inom na maraming tubig, na overcome nila yung atake, dahil lang sa tubig so, water is very important because once you have uh, lack of water in the la uh, lack of water the lungs gets easily irritated and of course, that will invite virus to come into your lungs also and, water um, yeah Yeah, that's what I said. I was trying to remember what did I say in Tagalog. So, when you have asthma attacks or attacks of allergies, just drinking plenty of water 
will actually stop the attack and uh, overcome the attack and also allergies. So that. So mahalaga. Water, exercise. Ano naman po yung mga pagkain na ma, ano, mabuti para sa ating baga? Foods that are good in, uh, good for the lungs. Number one, yun po yung mga pagkain na mataas ang antioxidant. So, foods that are high in antioxidants. So, what are those food? Ano yung mga pagkain na yun? Such as berries, I guess. Berries. Um, strawberries, blueberries, blackberries. So, how about here? How, raspberries. How about here dito sa Pilipinas? Parang wala yung mga berries na yun. Meron po tayong mga wild na berries na yan, dati, nung unang panahon, yung mga bata at mga matatanda, siguro nga kaya madami ng sakit ngayon kasi hindi na kinakain ngayon yung mga yun. Uh, may mulberries, hindi ko po alam kung anong tawag dito, pero mayroong puti na berries, uh, mulberries. Mulberries, they call it here. They call it here. They, they, they call it something else also. <coughs> mulberries, and then yung mga, I, I would consider a lateris, that could fall into that also. Basta yung mga wild, wild Duhat. na berries. Duhat. Duhat. Yan, duhat. Wala nang kumakain na ngayon ng mga ganun. So, yun. So, yun yung mga pagkain na mataas sa antioxidant. Ano pa? Lipote. O, yun. What else? Foods, foods and fruit, uh, vegetable and fruits that are orange. Yan. So, they are high in antioxidant also. Ano yung mga foods na orange? Carrots? Uh, actually, pula yun. Carrots, squash o pumpkin, yung kalabasa, orange mismo, orange, high in vitamin C din yun. Kamoting And orange. kamoting orange, Kalabansi. pwede, oo. Kalabansi. Yun, so yun yung mga pagkain na yun. And papaya. Ngayon, yeah, so okay. papaya. Maganda din po yun sa baga. That's not, not orange. It's kind of brown. That's brown. Banana. Actually, salit na banana, ang the best daw po sa baga ay yung apple. Apple. Yeah, apple, yes. Uh, Di ba sabi nila, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. And there's also a saying, wow, nag-brown out. Okay, continue. As, sabi, uh, may saying din ng, an, an apple a day keeps asthma away. So yun pala, pag kumakain ka ng, as, ng apple sa isang araw, ay na, nababawasan yung, uh, yung inflammation doon sa baga, lalo-lalo sa may mga asthma at saka allergy. So, apple, uh, Helps with the inflammation in the lungs for the asthma patients and allergies. Okay? What else? Mga cruciferous na mga gulay. What are the cruciferous? Yung mga matitigas na gulay tulad ng cauliflower. Cruciferous vegetable. Yeah, cruciferous vegetable. I know, that's what I said. Cauliflower, broccoli, uh, cabbage, kale, and Brussels sprouts. Wala ditong Brussels sprouts. Pero yung mga gulay na yon. Bakit kaya maganda silang sa ating baga? Meron daw kasi silang compound, natural compound, na tinatawag na glucosinates. Yan, glucosinates. And itong compound na to ay uh, dinideactivate dinide niya ang mga cancer cells sa baga. So napaka-importante napaka nitong mga gulay na to. At hindi lalaki o hindi hindi madidevelop ang cancer dun sa baga pag ikay kumakain ng marami ito. So, I guess, um, cruciferous vegetables have uh, plenty of glucosinates, a natural compound that is found in those vegetables and that helps with inflammation. So, kung tulad ng may mga asthma, kaya allergies, and uh, inhibit cancer development, in, especially in the lungs. Other cancer din, but especially in the lungs. Ano pa po? yung mga whole grains yung mga uh, brown rice uh, black rice red, rice red rice and then yung uh, wheat bread salip na white bread because uh, nakakatulong din to para uh, maiwasan yung inflammation o yung uh, inflammation sa loob ng baga okay and then of course Alam na ng lahat, tulad ngayon, uh, they are advising people during this virus season, garlic, bawang, the best, sabaga. Kaya, people nowadays are uh, eating, drinking, and doing all kinds of garlic. Garlic, puro garlic. That's why, uh, uh, actually, pag kumain ka ng uh, hilaw na bawang, pati mga 
ka makasambahay mo ilalayo sa iyo kaya <laughs> sa sobra <Social> yeah, <laughs> natural na social distancing kumain ng maraming bawang at saka um, pati virus talagang lalayo sa bawang and then yung mga herbs ano mga herbs ang maganda oregano uh, luya uh, turmeric o luyang dilaw peppermint Ayan, so pwedeng gawin tong mga tsaa. Gawin tsaa yung mga to so para pampa. Yeah. Yeah. So lemon this grass. yeah, lemon grass. Thank you. Uh, so these are the herbs that are good for the lungs, oregano, ginger, turmeric, peppermint. Okay. Okay. Okay, so what are the things? Ano yung mga bagay na masama para sa baga? Okay. What are the things that are bad for the lungs? Okay, let's go through some list. This is not exhaustive. Hindi ito lahat ng lista. Maaring mayroon pang madagdag. Pero, yeah, banggitin po natin ang ilan dito. Una, number one, smoking, syempre. Paninigarilyo. Okay, but then, if you're not smoking, pero naninigarilyo si tatay o si nanay, the same. Second hand and third hand smoke, the same. So, minsan, mas malala pa yung second hand and third hand smoke kaysa dun sa naninigarilyo. So, number one, smoking. And then, the same with vaping. Ayan. So, kasi our lungs are not designed to have all those chemicals or synthetic formulas and chemicals going into our lungs. So, it's not good also. So, yung mga chemical na ginagamit sa vaping, hindi rin yun maganda para sa baga. Kasi hindi naman na-design ang ating baga na lang hapin yung mga chemical na yun. Our, our lungs are designed for oxygen. That's it. Okay? And then, pagkulang ang exercise, of course. Yun. Talagang pampahina ng baga yun. When we lack exercise, our lungs get weak. Now, uh, uh, ano pa? Yung hindi po naglilinis ng bahay. Yun. <laughs> yun. Yung bihirang maglinis ng bahay. Bakit? Why? Not cleaning or dusting the house. Why? Because when dust and dirt collects in the house, nakaka-irritate yun sa lungs. Yeah. And eventually, pag na-irritate yung lungs o na, na, natakpan yung lungs ng, ng, ng mga dust or dirt, syempre, pakapasok na rin yung virus. So, kailangan laging malinis ang bahay. Lalo na yung higaan sa kwarto. Ayan. So, um... When you allow allow dust and dirt to collect in the house, then that's paving the way for viral infection because your lungs get irritated with all the lung with all the dust and dirt, and then eventually virus will have will have time to enter your respiratory system. Okay, and then what else? Cooking with wood or charcoal. Unfortunately, we have seen this. Nakita namin to dito pag nag pag nagiskan, di ba? Yung mga nagluluto ng kahoy, may mga problema sila sa baga. Bakit? Dahil yung smoke, yung exhaust, yung galing sa usok, nakaka apekto sa kanilang baga. So kung talagang walang ibang paraan, if there's no other way of cooking but through wood. Gawing well ventilated, nasa labas, gawing sa labas yung paglutuan para hindi po sa loob ng bahay. And kung sa loob ng bahay, lagyan ng exhaust or basta buksan ng mga bintana, buksan ng pinto para hindi malalanghap yung mga usok na yun. So, kailangan maging well ventilated yung bahay kung ikaw ay nagluluto ng um, sa uling o kaya sa kahoy. Ano pa? Yung mga... Asbestos sa bahay. What is um what is that um fly plywood that's good? Ano nga ba yung plywood na may asbestos na very bad? Hard deflex. Hard deflex. Napaka bad po yon. Banned yun sa ibang bansa. Banned sa America. That hard deflex is made out of asbestos or there's asbestos in it. It's supposed to be a very very good plywood dahil hindi siya inaanay. But it's very, very bad for the system, for the lungs especially. Um, in fact, it causes uh, cancer, yeah, lung, lung cancer. And here in the Philippines, they allow it. Yeah. They allow hard deflex. Pwedeng gamitin. So, make sure na your houses does not have this material. And any other 
material na may dar of asbestos. So, research. Research nyo kung ano yung mga material na mayroong ganun. At siguraduhin na wag magpatayo ng bahay na may mga materyales na ganito. Kasi talagang very damaging to the lungs. Diba tanda mo Ate Lenny nung nandun tayo sa... Strada. Strada, oh. You share that story. Yeah, they have a house. Uh, they're, they're renting an um, apartment and the house is made out of uh, hardy flex, the walls. Talagang, at uh, Ate Lenny could not breathe, lagi siyang na-allergy, lagi siyang nina asthma attack, talagang continuously. So, and I then we found friend, out, our friend was always having asthma attacks. Our friend was always having asthma attacks. You translate kaya, in no. English. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, our friend was always having uh, asthma attacks because uh, come to find out the walls are um, all asbestos made out of hard hard deflex so that's bad okay and then uh, not washing your hands all the time so we have to wash our hands laging maghugas ng kamay kasi once na may dumi ang kamay ano mangyayari Siyempre, hawakan mo yung inyong mga mukha. Ngayon, tapos papasok ang virus o bacteria sa ating, sa ating katawan. Yeah, so, so if you're not washing your hands regularly, of course, you're touching your face, uh, you're touching other things, the virus can be there, you're putting your hands in your face, and you can get infected that way. Because 80% ng respiratory infections are spread by touch. So 80% ng uh, mga infections sa ating baga ay kumakalat sa pamamagitan ng kamay o ng paghawak. Ayun. So, kung tayo lagi naghuhugas ng kamay, hindi na kailangan ng special formula, basta sabon lang at saka tubig. Mas maganda actually kung mainit ang tubig, mainit-init na tubig kasi nakakapatay din yun ng virus, ay um, may, mapiprevent ang 80% ng infection sa baga. Ayan. So, wash your hands very well, regularly, and even with hot water is even better because it prevents the... Uh... Uh, the virus from spreading so basic hygiene okay yeah. and what else mga chemical chemical like pintura uh, mga spang spray sa bahay mga cleaning products um, so yun uh, nowadays punong puno tayo nito yung mga pinturang ginagamit very highly toxic full of chemicals try to find kung tayo mapapatay ng bahay Alamin natin yung mga pintura na hindi ganun ka-toxic. Ay, sobrang mabango. Oo, sa mga mabango. Sobrang spray ng spray ng mga kung ano-ano sa bahay. Yung mga panglinis sa bahay. Actually, maraming uh, mga nanay sa bahay ang nagkakaroon ng lung cancer dahil sa sobrang dami ng mga chemical na ginagamit sa bahay. Mga panglinis, sobrang kalinisan. Eh, ginagamit ang mga uh, highly toxic chemicals na pang spray o pang linis ng bahay and it causes cancer in the So, lungs. a lot of ladies are getting lung cancer because they're using a lot of chemicals in the home for cleaning and they're inhaling this stuff and a lot of sprays. Uh, they're inhaling these chemicals and of course that downs the immune system and they're prone to get infections and even cancer, lung cancer. So, this is a problem. Okay, and then what else? Yung uh, closed doors and windows. Yan. Laging nakasara mga pintuan at bintana. Nakaka, nakakahina ng baga. So, dapat laging nakabukas ang ating mga... Oh, dapat laging nakabukas ang ating mga bintana at pintuan. So, closed doors and windows. You basically need to open your doors and your windows. Let the air come in. Air out the home. Even in the winter, all year round, you should have your doors... Well, of course, your door may not be open in the winter, but your windows and your bedroom should be open even in the winter. Especially sa gabi. Especially at night. Especially at night, yeah, that's right. Especially yeah. at night. <clears throat> Kasi doon naglilinis ang ating katawan, doon nagre-rejuvenate, doon nagre-refresh ang ating katawan. So, kailangang uh, mailabas yung mga toxic na yon at mailabas din ng sa bahay at hindi maiwan doon sa ating loob ng tahanan. Yan. So, it's more important at night because our bodies... Uh, cleanses at night, rejuvenates and refreshes, so it's important for all those toxins to come out of our come out of our lungs and if the door is closed the windows are closed at night, then of course it will just stay in the house instead of going out, so it, uh, we need to open our houses our windows and our doors so that uh, we'll have uh, good ventilation night and day so that's why it's very important to be in the country 
Ayan. Kasi, if you're in the city, even if you have open windows and open doors, just letting the smoke in, <laughs> the air is still toxic. So, sayang lang yung pagbukas ng bintana at pintuan. And then, by the way, it's, uh, it's proven na air conditioning just circulating. It's circulating the virus. And, nabubuhay pa siya lalo. It makes the, the virus survive. So, air conditioning air is not good for the virus. So, that's not the... Um, so, mas maganda pa rin talaga yung fresh air. Okay? And then, what else po? Ang mga bad sa ating lungs? Of course, yung mga white rice and white breads and mga processed foods. Why? Canned packaged foods. Because... <clears throat> These foods are mucus forming. So, nag-create siya ng mucus o ng mga plema. And also, it, uh, it encourages inflammation. It, it inhibits inflammation. And also... No, it, it creates inflammation. It creates inflammation, I mean. Also, it, um, these foods, yung mga pagkain na to, white rice, white bread, processed, processed foods, it, in, it increases carbon dioxide production. So, um... Dahil mas madami ang nililikha niya na carbon dioxide, nagiging burden to sa lang. So, nahihirapan yung lang. Sa halip na yung nasa katawan lang natin na natural carbon dioxide ang ilalabas, na may additional burden gawa ng mga harina, ng mga white flour, white rice, and all this processed food. Ayan. So, uh, yun po yung mga pagkain at mga things na nakakasira o nakakatanghina sa ating baga and there's probably more but uh, at least yun lang muna ang babanggitin natin at um, we're gonna touch on yeah so those are the things that create uh, toxicity in the body to damage your immune system and invite these viruses to uh, reside in your body and to proliferate so basically you want to avoid those canned and processed foods the white bread, the white rice, things like that, things that are high in sugar and whatnot, that's basically what you're reiterating. Okay. Oh, anyways. Okay. And then, so now, what are we gonna do if we have a cold already? Oh, so, what can we do? Anong magagawa natin pag meron ng sipon? Ayan. May nagumpisa na ang sipon. Kasi, like with this virus, actually, it starts with dito, sa ilong. Uh, actually, with this uh, coronavirus, it's a, uh, you don't have runny nose, but you're, you, get, you feel congested dito sa ilong or irritated. And then, later on, bababa dito sa lalamunan, yung masakit ng lalamunan or dry cough na dito, and, and then saka bababa sa baga. So, kung dito pa lang, umpisahan na nating uh, atakihin yung virus, hindi na siya makakababa hanggang dun sa baga. So what can we do once so, it starts here? Okay, yeah, so ahead. the virus will basically start in the nasal passages. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't go right down into your lungs right away. It resides in the sinus, pass, sinus passages. Um, so what are the things that we can do to prevent that from going down into our lungs? Yeah, because it stays here like three days. Yeah. So first thing that we can do when you start feeling bad is rest. Rest right away. That's... Uh -huh. Yeah, that's one thing na we don't do anymore. So once you start feeling bad, rest right away. You know why? Pag naka-rest ang katawan, sakalang pwedeng mag-heal ang katawan. So, hindi pwede siyang um, mag-rejuvenate at mag-refresh ang katawan unless you're rested. So unang-unang gagawin po ay magpahinga. Yeah, itulog. Ayaw na nating nobody wants to rest nowadays because we're too busy. Pero, total, we're on forced quarantine, forced lockdown, then we should take the time to rest. Uh, let's catch up on the rest na hindi natin nagawa ng mga nakaraang araw. And then, uh, what else can we do? Drink, uminom ng mainit na lemon. Lemon, kalamansi, or uh, grapefruit, grapefruit in the States, kung meron. Dito meron din nabibili minsan. You can add some cayenne with the drink, o konting cayenne, o sili, sili powder. Or, okay, yeah. so what, what can we do? We can drink hot water. Uh, not really hot, but very warm water. Uh, we can also add lemon, uh, calamansi, which is lemon here in the Philippines. 
It's a different kind of lemon. It's basically citric acid, the same thing. And we can also add a pinch of cayenne pepper in there, which is a circulatory herb that will also assist the body in distributing all those benefits of the vitamin C found in the lemon. Yes. Okay. And also, yung binanggit natin Lenny kanina, um, bawang, ano nga ba yun natin Lenny? Bawang, luya, at saka kalam uh, kalamansi. So, pound some garlic and ginger, and then you pour the boiling water over it, let it sit and steep, and then once it's cooled down, strain it and then add 7 to 10 uh, calamansi into it and then or half, a, that. or half a lemon or half a lemon mm -hmm. so that and then what else can we do steam inhalation yeah that's very good once it dito pa lang mag steam na or uh, <clears throat> um, you can also use herbs pwedeng gamitan ng herbs yung steam inhalation para mas effective like you know yung binanggit na kanina na herbs na oregano peppermint uh uh, eucalyptus pala, I forgot to mention kanina. Eucalyptus is good also for the lungs. So, you can put some of that in a steam inhalation so that the, uh, you will be breathe that and then clear yung nasal passages. It okay. will clear the nasal passages. So, for those who don't have a steam steamer, yeah. uh, for steam inhalation, you can use a rice cooker. You put some water in it. Uh, we do have eucalyptus trees and eucalyptus leaves in the Philippines. You can put that. You can boil it in your rice cooker and you can inhale the steam, uh, not too hot, of course you want to put your head back somewhat, but you can put a towel over that and drape it over your head and you can inhale the steam, you can control the heat and you can inhale that and it's very good for the nasal passages and for the lungs. Uh, so that's one of the things and you can also, as she mentioned, you can use oregano. Uh, in the US we have the essential oils uh, that are available on the market, but you can also, in the Philippines, you can use fresh oregano just chop it up, put it in that boiling water in the rice cooker uh, with the or lid eucalyptus. cracked open a little bit or eucalyptus uh, leaves and you can inhale that steam and it's very good for the respiratory system and the nasal passages. And for those who have colloidal silver, you can use that also in the steam inhalation that will kill virus right there in your um, nasal passages uh, and the lungs. So colloidal silver. Yeah, colloidal silver. silver is very good, yeah. very good. And then what else? Mm -hmm. So. Uh, if you have brownie nose actually or if you have stuffy nose so I guess with the coronavirus it, you don't have runny nose so it's dry yeah. but it's stuffy and you can't right. breathe you're having a hard time breathing right um, one thing that's good also is I don't know what it's called is that nasal desalination what is that called oh, um, yeah. you own, um, they, they sell this thing in the US called a neti pot and it's basically a uh, a pot that you put like warm water in and you basically heat up the water and then they have this salt solution. It's basically sodium chloride and then they put that, put that in there and you basically inhale, you, you sniff this salt solution up your nose and it basically clears out your nasal passages. And you can do that anywhere. You can do that here in the Philippines. Yes. You can take warm water, put some salt in it, dissolve the salt and then sniff that up your nose and then of course you'll end up blowing it out but it clears the nasal, yeah. nasal passages it's cleansing for we, the na we, nasal we used to do this ginagawa namin to dati sa ating sa aming mga anak pag hindi sila makahinga kasi kawawa ang baby di ba ang baby yung mga bata pag hindi the makahinga up, up so ang ginagawa so namin uh, lalagay kami ng asin sa mainit na tubig medyo maligam no na hindi mainit maligamgam na tubig sa baso o sa cup and then uh, we use the yung pang ano ng um, medicine dropper. Dropper, medicine dropper. Tapos ipapasok do eh, it, it papatak sa ilong ng bata. So pag patak ng ilong ng bata, sure hatching hatching. Tapos makiklear yon yung ilong nila para makahit makakahinga na sila. So, so when our children were very young, yeah. even babies, and they were plugged up nasally with lots of mucus, we would squirt with a medicine dropper some salt water up their nose. And of course they'd choke on it a little bit, but basically that would clear all the mucus out of their nasal passage. And that's also very good uh, for those of us who have a flu or maybe we have the coronavirus, we can use that to clear our nasal passages as well. Yeah, um, and then later on, if it's it gets really worse na, it comes, um, lumampas na siya dito sa lalamunan dito, uh, uh, dito na siya sa lalamunan hindi na siya dito ano na pwede natin gawin so once it's here in the throat what can we do one thing that's good when once it's you're already coughing or dry cough or irritated na yung lalamunan masakit ang lalamunan ano pang pwedeng gawin well tuloy-tuloy po yung kalamansi yung uh, 
bawang, all that para mamatay yung baktira and then a uh, heating compress sa lalamunan. Yan ang magandang gawin once na nandito na siya sa lalamunan. Okay, so if it if it enters our throat and we have a dry cough, uh, we have a sore throat, we can do what's called a heating compress. Basically, we take a cold towel, we wrap it around the throat, and then over that we put um, uh, plastic, and we wrap the plastic, like saran wrap, we wrap that around the throat, and then uh, we can wrap it with a dry towel around that just to keep the heat in, because eventually that cold towel will heat up and it will stimulate uh, the, the immune system to focus and bring more blood to the throat area so that the body can deal with the virus or bacteria that may be in your throat causing the, thor the sore throat. Ayan, so heating compress, paano po gagawin yun? Towel o kaya medyas? Actually, gamit na yeah, yung medyas use... kasi tamang-tama sa liig. Babasain siya ng malamig na tubig and then ibabalot sa liig. Maybe one of these days, uh, gagawa po tayo ng video para ipakita kung paano ito gawin. And then, um, lagyan ng aspile, tie it with a, with a, tie it with a safety pin. And then, um, after that, put plastic over it, use saran wrap. And then after that, use dry naman. So, leave, leave it on there all night and then, <coughs> kinaumagahan paltan. So, change it during the day. Yeah, so, so basically, as she was saying, the throat wrap, you would take even socks like this. This is a clean sock. Um, and you basically soak it in, in cold water. We like to use ice cold water. Um, and you put that around your throat like this. And you can put a safety pin. We don't always have a safety pin. So I just kind of wrap it and tuck it in. And then we'll put plastic over that like this just to insulate it. Make sure the plastic is covering the sock. And then we'll put the dry okay. sock around that and then we'll put a safety pin and we'll sleep with it overnight so that your throat is insulated and that will help uh, the sore throat, whether you have coronavirus or not, but yeah. it's also good for viral infections uh, and it will assist your body to fight that bacterial infection, that cold or that sore throat that you're experiencing. So very effective. We use this when oh, we have yeah. a really bad uh, sore throat. Actually, it's better to it's use It's better this. to use the, um, saran wrap. the saran wrap. Of course, you wrap that around your throat, you insulate it. So saran wrap yeah. is very good. So that's okay. better. Yeah, so that's how that's done. And then later on, if it gets um, worse or you didn't, um, you didn't catch it early enough and it goes down to your lungs, what else, what can we do then? Ano nang gagawin? Pag nandito na sa baga, hindi mo kaagad nabantayan o no? napabayaan. Actually po yung apo namin, di ba si Angel, <clears throat> four months I think or five months lang siya, nagkaroon siya ng bronchonyomonya. So, kinuha namin siya sa kanilang bahay at hirap talagang hirap na siyang huminga. So, nandito na yun sa baga. Ibig sabihin, pag pneumonia na o bronco na, nandito na sa baga niya. Uh, <clears throat> and, uh, kakaawa kasi talagang yung hinga niya ay iba na. So, anong ginawa po namin? Uh, uh, una, pinainom namin siya ng kahit 5 months pa lang at that time ng pure calamansi. Yung pure, pure vitamin C. So, dinadropper namin kahit nagpupumiglas yung bata. Pina, dinadropper namin sa kanyang uh, lalamunan yung dropper full ng calamansi. So, uh, the same way na kung paano mo pinapainom ng antibiotic, ganun din yung pagpapainom ng kalamansi. So, kung every 3 or 4 hours ang antibiotic, ganun din, painumin din ng kalamansi like that. And then, dahil nga hirap na siyang huminga, actually gabi, kakaawa, we, um, uh, hinahat and cold fermentation na namin siya. So, dito sa baga mismo, um, mainit, mainit muna na towel dito sa, uh, uh, sa may lungs niya. Mainit na towel for like 3 minutes to 5 minutes. And then, pagkatapos ng 3 to 5 minutes, malamig naman, ice cold. Irarab mo yung kanyang uh, lungs ng uh, 30 seconds ng malamig. Yun. So, tatlong beses na gagawin yun. And, ginawa namin to sa kanya within hours, kita mo talaga. Kasi, kakaawa yung paghinga niya. Within hours, ayos na yung paghinga niya. Kinaumagahan, okay na. So, ganun kabilis uh, mag-work yung... Uh, uh, hydrotherapy or hot and cold fermentation sa baga. So basically what she said in English is that uh, our granddaughter was very sick when she was five months old. She had bronchopneumonia um, and uh, 
basically we did hot and cold fomentations. We took uh, very, uh, very warm water on towels. We put it over the chest uh, for five minutes and then we put ice cold, uh, cold fr friction mitten, which is basically an ice cold towel uh, and rub that cold towel over the chest area for 30 seconds. And then we would put the hot back on there. We'd dry the chest and then we put the hot towel back on there and cover it with a dry one to keep the heat in. And we would do those uh, fomentations in cycles of three, hot and cold, hot and cold, hot and cold, ending with cold. And uh, in a very short time, her breathing was eased mm -hmm. and the mucus was coming out and she was able to recover. So She was able uh, to sleep. She couldn't yeah, sleep. Yeah, she was able to sleep. Um, so this was a very serious illness. In fact, she was very, very sick. And uh, But anyways, it did uh, assist her in recovering and she did get well and uh, praise God she's a healthy seven-year-old child today okay so um, we raised our own kids for uh, four kids they are 20 25 23 21 and 14 now na, and they have no vaccines wala silang bakuna pero um, minsan they catch cold they catch fever also trangkaso Pero what we notice is isang araw lang kalimitan yung kanilang uh, very trangkaso. Short. Very short. Kasi we do all these things na sinabi namin dito, what we mentioned. And also, we do, if it's really, really bad na, we do a hot fever bath or hot tub bath. So we soak them. Actually, once they start having temperature, may lagnat na, masama ng pakiramdam, ibababad na namin sila sa hot tub. So, actually, even here in the Philippines, we used to do this. Inaano, sinusot na lang namin sila sa timba dati. Kasi walang hot tub dito. So, timbang malaki, pwede rin pong gamitin. Lalagay namin sila doon sa mainit na tubig. Na, then, isusot namin yung mga bata. Yun nga lang, mahirap sa atin na matatanda. Hindi tayo makapagbabad sa malaking, sa malang, malaking timba. Drum siguro, kung may drum, pwede. Kaso, ang hirap magpainit ng ganong kadaming tubig. So, we would put them in there and let them soak in there for like half an hour making sure that there is um, malamig sa ulo there's something cold on the head like an ice pack or ice cold uh, towel and then uh, pag babad nila doon usually yung lagnat nila baba kagad okay so what she was saying is our four children never had a vaccination they rarely ever got sick and when they would get sick they would only get sick for like a day or two if they had a fever we would put them in a hot fever bath we would basically if we were in the u.s we would heat up the tub with very very hot water let them soak in there with an ice pack on their head and then we would uh, let them sit in there for 15 20 minutes and then uh, we would end with ice cold pour and then wrap them up and let them go to bed. And of course, with lots of liquids. Now in the Philippines, because we don't have bathtubs in the Philippines, uh, only the rich people do, uh, we would uh, use the big plastic tub and we would fill it with hot water. We would pour hot water over them. And then of course we would end with cold and they would also recover. So their, their sickness that they had, whether they had the flu or they had a cold, was always short lived, mm -hmm. even until today. They rarely get sick. And it's very short, like a day or two, and then they're done. Unlike people get sick and they have the flu for like a whole week or something, our children never get that. Yeah, so that's what we did. And they never had the vaccine again. So, in the totoo, that's not true that the vaccine will get rid of flu. So, it's not true that the vaccine, the flu vaccine, will get rid of the flu, trancaso. It's not true. Because otherwise, there are cases of flu should have gone way down with the with the development of flu vaccine but it's not it, that's not the case so hindi po totoo na dahil sa bakuna sa trangkaso na available na available na ngayon eh mawawala ang trangkaso kasi if so dapat wala nang trangkaso di ba pero sa mas madaming binakunahan mas madami pa rin ang nagkakatrangkaso so hindi po sa vaccine ang sagot nandito pa rin po sa ating katawan na binigay natin binigay sa atin ng Panginoon ang kalakasan para labanan ng kahit anong sakit. So, bigyan lang natin ng tamang pagkain, tamang mga tamang atensyon yung ating katawan para yung ating immune system mismo na binigay ng Panginoon dyan sa ating katawan ang lalaban sa kahit anong virus o sakit. 
So we need to take precautions by living a healthy lifestyle. We need to eat the proper diet. Uh, we need to exercise. We need to take care of our health so that we don't get sick with these diseases like the coronavirus. In fact, most of the people that have died from the viral infection are people that have underlying health issues. People that have heart disease, people with diabetes, uh, people with other illnesses are usually the ones who die from this virus. In fact, more people have died from influenza and the flu than the coronavirus, and that's a fact. That's a that's a statistical fact. So of course the media is you know freaking everybody out with all of this uh, you know uh, information about the spread of the virus and everything. But really the death toll is much lower than the flu. Yes. In fact, dito sa Pilipinas, I saw the um, statistics of World Health Organization na 2017 alone, 75,000, close to 76,000 ang namatay dito sa Pilipinas sa flu and pneumonia alone. So here in the Philippines, according to the World Health, World Health Organization, in 2017 in the Philippines, 75,000 people died of the flu. And how many people have died of the coronavirus here in the Philippines? I think it's... Ilan na bang namamatay dito ngayon? 50? Oh, I don't know, 50 maybe? Yeah, something like that? Something like that. Very very low actually. And yeah. yung mga namatay na yon ay dahil sa meron silang sakit sa puso, diabetic, merong nagdadialysis, may matanda na, at may mga iba't ibang sakit na. And those people that died are the ones who have underlying illnesses like diabetes, uh, uh, heart disease, and other mm -hmm. disease, people that are on dialysis, uh, and things like that. Yeah, so these are the things that I got and uh, um, para sa ating kalusugan sa ating baga. There's probably more, but we're not going to go into that now. That's all um, that we're going to go over this morning. And I just want to leave and to, to end this with a spiritual help. So, na nice ko pong tapusin to sa ating spiritual na kalusugan. So, I want to end this health talk with did, a spiritual application. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'll repeat it in English. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, um, just like we can't survive without oxygen for m more than three minutes, hindi rin po tayo. Just like, katulad na hindi tayo makasurvive na walang oxygen pag walang, uh, nang walang oxygen in three minutes, hindi rin po tayo makasurvive sa ating spiritual na walang oxygen. Ano yung oxygen? Hangin na galing sa Panginoon. Ano kaya yun? The breath of the Holy Spirit. So, hindi tayo makasurvive kung wala tayong Holy Spirit sa ating buhay. So, kailangan lagi po nating nalalanghap o lagi nating uh, kasama yung banal na spirito sa ating buhay para yung ating spiritual na buhay ay malakas, malusog, at uh, laging active din. And then, tulad ng sa pagkain, yung mga masamang pagkain, nagpapahina ng ating baga, Ganon din po sa ating spiritual. Yung mga pagkain na spiritual uh, na hindi maganda, negative, nagpapahina din ng ating spiritual na kalusugan. So ano po yun? Ano po yung mga pagkain na yun? Yung mga pagkain na negative, yung mga chismis. Ngayon, uh, sophisticated na mag-chismis ngayon kasi mag-Facebook ka lang. Nakakalagap, nakaka nakakahagip ka na ng lahat ng mga chismis ng kapitbahay, ng iyong mga kaibigan, ng iyong pamilya. So, Yun, kung yun ang ating kinakain araw-araw, ayun, ang ating kalusugan sa spiritual ay magiging negative din, mahina din, at magiging madumi o polluted din. So, to recap what she said in Tagalog and English, she said basically, uh, as we need the oxygen to keep our lungs alive, to, to, to live, basically we need the breath of life from the Holy Spirit. We need spiritual life from the Holy Spirit, and uh, we need to feed our minds and our hearts with pure things rather than gossip and backbiting and uh, uh, foul stories and things. Of course, social media is a venue where people can, you know, gossip and carry on and make all kinds of uh, ridiculous remarks and things. And so we need to feed our minds with positive things, uh, pure things. Uh, like Philippians 4, 8 talks about whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are just, uh, of good report. If there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. So these are the things that we need to feed our soul with so that we will have a positive outlook and our immune system will be strong and will be healthy mentally, physically, emotionally, and socially as well. Okay, so yun na yan. 
<laughs> yun ang yun, ano. So, palusugin po natin ang ating mga baga. And at the same time, palusugin din natin ating spiritual na hangin. Spiritual na uh, hininga mula sa Panginoon. Yung spiritual life. So, pag malusog ito, tayo po ay nakaka- makakaasa na hindi po tayo tatablan ng mga virus na maaaring itong coronavirus at kung ano pang mga darating na virus na mas malala pa. So, yun po ang, ang panalangin ko po ay tayo ay maging malusog, sikapin ang lahat para atin pong mapanatiling malusog ang ating katawan at lalong-lalo ng ating spiritual para tayo po ay sabi po sa 3 John 2 uh, uh, that we may prosper and be in health. So, maraming salamat po at happy Sabbath. Yeah, so thank you for listening. Uh, if you've been blessed by this lecture, uh, please share it uh, with your uh, friends on social media. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Restoration to Eden Ministry. We have a lot other, a lot more other lectures, uh, but this one is specifically regarding lung health and uh, boosting our immune system and what we can do if we get coronavirus or any other diseases like the flu uh, and uh, cold and things like that. So. Uh, we hope you've been blessed, and we want to thank you for joining us and for listening, and may God bless you. Thank you.